Jackie Chan, the leader of a gang? <laughs> I gotta see this! Juku Incidents, released in 2009 and is directed by Derek Yi, who has also directed such films like The Lunatics, People's Hero, One Night in Mongkok, and Protégé. And this film is starring Jackie Chan, whose company also distributed this thing, Naoto Takanaka, Daniel Wu, Zhu Jingle, and Fan Bingbing. And the reason why we're talking about Shinjuku Incident today is because it was a PayPal recommendation and donation from a contributor, a former contributor and supporter of this channel. I haven't heard from them in a while, but it's great to hear from them again, David Klimov. Thank you very much for the recommendation. If anyone else out there also wants to help support me, contribute to this channel, or if you have a movie recommendation that you want to send my way, go ahead and select the QR code that is in the bottom left corner of your screen right now and send over your donation of $5 or more with your movie recommendation. And if I have access to it, I will watch it, review it, and give you a little shout out, just like what I did with David here. Jackie Chan plays Nick, who enters Japan illegally from China in hopes of reuniting with his brother and searching for his ex fiance who left several years ago and he hasn't seen or heard from her since. And as he begins to look around, start asking questions, and taking low paying jobs to blend in, he soon finds himself in the midst of an inner country gang war that one of the mob bosses takes a liking to him and sets Nick up to be the leader of the Chinese section of this gang to pull a whole bunch of heists and thefts and make a whole bunch of profit. But then it turns out that the gang leader who he's working for, well, he has a wife who is Nick's. Jackie Chan's ex-wife, and they have kids, and it's heartbreaking to see that and him realize it, but he's still going about being this drug lord. Well, he's not into drugs. He doesn't want to sell drugs, but he's into crime and theft and making a profit, making money, and making a hit here in Japan, even though he's from China. It is very strange for me seeing Jackie Chan not as a comedic protagonist, a comedic hero in a film, because that's who I know him as. I grew up with Jackie Chan in films like Rush Hour and in Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Nights. He's always the funny guy. He always did all the martial arts and all the stunts, but he did it with a sense of humor. So I like him. I love this guy. So to see him in this film and actually have a legit acting performance. He's not relying on his physicality, he's not relying on his martial arts, and he's not relying on his comedic chops. This is a dramatic thriller performance from Jackie Chan. It's very strange for me, and I mean, it just proves that Jackie Chan is one of the best to ever do it, to, to ever be an actor. I, has he gotten an honorary Oscar just for being himself? If not, he definitely deserves it by now. Because Jackie Chan is great in here. You feel for it when he realizes that his ex fiance is the wife of this gang boss, and they have these kids together, they have this life together, you see the heartbreak in his eyes, but then also seeing the relationship with him and his brother, how it builds and how it's based on just love and pure and his brother has helped supporting him and getting used to the ropes here in Japan. And then just seeing the switch flip where his brother is now the one who is needing Nick and Nick is running everything. So you see that jealousy here. This is a very Shakespearean tragedy tale. We have a common man who has this rise to power and yet we see all of his empire and all of his power crumble by the end. And it's tragic. There's death. There is gore. There is sadness. There is just darkness all around. The darkness didn't really make its way to all the blood. The blood looked very fake in this film. Like, the coloring was just not right. The color had a lot of pink to it. In some scenes, it almost looked like it was Cleon blood. Reference for all those Trekkies out there. There's a moment where you see guts just spill out on the floor, and you're looking, I'm like, okay, that's... That's not blood. <laughs> that is pink. That is pink coloring. I'm sorry. Though it doesn't take away from the moment, and I'm not going to spoil what that moment is for any of you that haven't seen this film, which I definitely recommend. Unfortunately, I was only able to watch it with the dubbed version, which Jackie Chan does lend his voice to, so that was great. But the other ones, you can tell, is just not lining up, and the emotions that they're conveying on screen are not completely lining up with the actor who was doing the voiceover. So if you can, or if you have the capability, please watch this in in the original language and read the subtitles. It's fine, you silly little Americans who don't like reading your stories on screen. You'll get over it. Give it five minutes, you'll be fine. It's one hell of a tale, seeing this guy go from rags to riches and all of the relationships that he starts building over time. And he's, you can tell he's a good person. Like, he wants to do right, he wants to help people. If someone is about to drown, he will go out and save them, even though they may be a cop who's chasing them and trying to arrest them. He's always trying to do the right thing, even though he kind of lends himself to do 
the criminal stuff more so in this film because it gets to a point where he's just like okay i need to make money something has happened and i need to just assert my dominance here i love it this film is great and i love seeing these films being done outside of america with such great quality and such great cinematography great storytelling and great performances it just goes to show you again that jackie chan is tremendous he's one of the best actors of all time regardless of what the genre is he just always excels jackie chan is just a delight he is a delightful person and and his performance in here is dramatic, it is tragic, and he's great. I'm gonna give Shinjuku Incident 4 out of 5 Blu-rays. I like it a lot. So guys, if you've seen Shinjuku Incident, what did you think about it? Or if you've never seen it before and you stumbled across it because of this video, then comment below and let me know what you thought about it. And as always, if you like what you see here, if you like my take on movies, then hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell. See you the next time I release next movie review. So guys, I will see you next time on the channel, but in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.